Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here, and I have the uh, Gerson MC Compact um, 40 caliber uh, Centurion 96 clone, if you will. And what we're going to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> get some lock grips here. So lock grips is, uh, here's their contact info right there for you. And you can check them out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Awesome company. If you guys look <clears throat> my, um, other videos, I have the, uh, Beretta 92 X that I did the comparison with this. Those, those are lock grips on that as well. Um, so I'll show you what I ordered from them. And these are, they're called, um, you could say Veloce or you could say Velos. Um, but they are V E L O C E is the style of these on their website. He said, <clears throat> I talked to Blake there and, um, he said these are really popular right now. So here you can see we have lot grips, uh, Beretta 92 and these are uh, made in the USA. Uh, I believe lock is a veteran owned company. Um, they're in Michigan as so am I, which is really cool. And, uh, these are made to order. So, um, G10 material, this happens to be the light gray and black version. Um, there's a little bit of oil on here, which no big deal. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, stock grips off this and see if there's any fitting that needs to be done um, because this isn't a Beretta, this is a Gerson. Um, I've heard that there's very, very minor things that I might have to do. So things that I have in preparation for that is a needle file set. And I have some tape, um, and what we're going to do with the tape is, um, on the back side, I, I've seen in another, and that doesn't mean that this one's going to be the same way, but if the grip is too big this way, um, I can just put a tape line on the back side of the grip, and then we'll take it over to the belt sander, or we'll file it down, depending on how much needs to come off. So, let me grab the screwdriver, and we'll get cracking on these grips right here. I think this tip should work well. So you just want to give some downward pressure when you take your screws out. And let's see, I don't know if this is going to have... Okay, so the <clears throat> Gerson grips don't have any um, washers or bushings. Um, not bushings, I guess, but O-rings or... Um, O-rings or... Have you ever seen the serrated washers that are underneath on the factory Berettas? Um, this has neither, at least on that top one. Um, so let's take this one out. And yeah, there wasn't one on that either. So um, let's pop the mag out of there and then I'm going to push this grip off here. So lock also, um, if you go through, um, these are the rubber O-rings. So sometimes with G10 grips um, or a different grip other than factory, it makes sense to put an O-ring washer on there because as you squash it down, as you tighten down your grip screw, um, it gives upward pressure and tension to the threads. So it prevents your screws from backing out. <clears throat> so now that we have that left side off, let's see if this is going to fit. So the bottom snapped on, and the top is literally just barely, barely, barely not right. So um, let's check the other side, and then I'll do some uh, modifications. So it looks like right now I just need to file the, the bottom side of this circle right here. Um, and that very, very little looks like it's necessary and that should drop right on. So let's go ahead and remove the other side.
Again, no bushings or washers or anything like that. I keep saying bushings. Um, so we want to try the right side grip panel. And this area right here is relieved for the trigger bar. Uh, it's an external trigger bar on the Beretta. So you just want to make sure that um, you have clearance for that um, if this fits on. So this one, oh, that's so close. So the trigger action seems to be okay. The top is on, the bottom is not quite. Let's see if I snap the bottom on. So it looks like you could, uh, which way do I wanna go though? Do I wanna take, take it off the top? I think I'm gonna take it off the top side of the bottom hole. So let me uh, get my file set out here. And I'll show you which one I'm going to use. If you look at uh, the shapes right here, this tells you exactly what file it is. So I'm going to use a round file. And these are <clears throat> uh, high friction, but they're fine. So they don't, um, they don't take a ton of material at a time, but they, they're aggressive. Um, but you can really do some good detail work with them. So... Let me flip the safety up and check this one more time. So if I snap that top on, where am I at on the bottom here? So let me keep that top held down and see, yep, trigger action is smooth. So I'm not gonna have any interference that way. So I'm just gonna start filing at the top of that bushing or uh, god bushing why do i have that word stuck in my head the top of that grip screw hole and then we'll just keep um, doing little bits at a time and then we'll test fit g10 material is a layered material similar to plywood but it's not wood it's like a composite So let's see if that did anything. I, yeah, I can push it down now. So all it took was that, um, and that grip is on there now, and it's on flush. So it is sitting tight to the frame. Trigger action is so clear here. Trigger action's not impeded at all. Um, so now what I would just do is throw my O-rings on and then uh, put the grip screw on. So uh, let's check out the back fit. So there is, right here, there is a tiny bit of overlap. Let me see if that's... It's not really noticeable in hand, um, so I think I'll, I'm going to leave it alone for right now. Well, let's get the other grip fitted, put the screws on, and see what we think. <clears throat> so for this side, I, I think looking at where I want this to fall, I do want to make sure that it's not going to rub on the bottom side of the slide. So I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to, I'm going to file on the top of the bottom screw hole again. So <clears throat> I just hold the grip upside down and put downward pressure on it so it doesn't flop all over. Stick my needle file in there and there you can see the G10 material that had come off on that. So I'm just going to um, do the same thing here. All right, so let's check that and see how that went. <clears throat> Let 
This one's going to need a little bit more, it looks like. Yeah, not a whole lot more, but it definitely needs a little bit more. I can't, I'm not quite close to uh, being able to just push it down like I was on the other side. So if you look at the back side, I've just changed it from round. You can see where I'm coming through there. I'm actually going to work from back to front for just a second to try and clean that shape up just a little bit. And that might actually help it drop on too. So let's give that a test fit. Oh, it's so close. Look at So, oh, it's so close. See, it's like stuck on there now. It's not quite a perfect fit, though, so I do want to file a little bit more. There we go. try that and there we can see it fits nice and flush so that was all it needed um, there you can see a little bit of the actual uh, stuff that it kicked up let me see if I can just run a pick in there uh, I think I got a pick and see if I can get that debris to fall out of there yep So there you can see that cleaned up. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and throw uh, the O-rings in and then tighten down the screws. And hopefully they have enough uh, throw in the, in the threads to be able to reach the holes and uh, give me a few turns in there. So, sorry if my arm gets in the way here. Um, I'm just going to start these by, see if I can just start them with my finger. Yeah. So the O-rings might actually be too much. I don't know if I can get them to squash down low enough, but we're going to find out here. The top one seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, so the top one seems pretty good. Let's see if I just have this one... So you see how the bottom one is just sticking up higher than the top? Still just a hair up, but I think it's okay. 
I think I'd be like I say, I think it would uh, drop down a little bit better if uh, if I didn't use the O-rings, but um, I like the fact that the O-rings put tension on the threads and keep the grip screws from moving. And then it also prevents you from over torquing your uh, grip screws and stripping out your frame. It's not like on a 1911 where um, there's the, you know, the removable bushings. Uh, I believe on this one, I did, guess I didn't really look, but um, a lot of times it's just, it's machined into the uh, frame itself. So yeah, the top went really nice on that side again. Let's check the bottom one here. Yeah, this one's going in a lot, lot smoother than the other side did. And let me show you now, because this side is going to be, see, it's basically like flush. So now let's take a look at this back. Um, God, that is, it's so minimal. I really don't, you're not even going to feel it. Oh my God, and what a difference these made in traction. <laughs> this is such a good grip design, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, it's not something that you would want to carry against bare skin because it's very aggressive. Um, and like I said, G10 is a good material, so you could, you know, potentially sand it and buff it down a little bit to get it uh, if, if it's too aggressive for you. But oh my god, that, that there's no way that gun's going to move in your hand. Like it feels so locked in. I mean, lock grips, how appropriate is that, right? Because it really locks into your hand. Um, so these are definitely a win, right? I mean, look at how it made the gun look. Massive difference from just chintzy black plastic, right? And, uh, again, let's show clear. We're going to have it here, um, single action mode. We can watch the trigger bar. The trigger bar doesn't move a whole lot in single action, um, but it does for double action. And we're fully functioning. So no issues with that. Um, mag, mag still drops free, so we don't have any, uh, anything impeding into the mag well there. Um, they look fantastic. I'm going to take that screw back out and try it again. Uh, I think, I think there might just be some debris in there keeping that one up. So, uh, there it is guys. Check them out again. Uh, lock grip. So if you have these Gerson Regard, um, these Beretta clones, a needle file or you could probably even roll up um, sandpaper and just work it uh, through the hole like that and these work fantastic so check them out really reasonably priced grips lots of cool designs tons of different colors um, and custom made to order can't beat that with a bat so thank you guys for watching and always shoot safe